Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Magista Opus in the latest Silver Storm colorway. Now inside the box, they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag is wolf gray in color, gray strings. You have a light blue Nike swoosh on the one side and a light blue Nike football logo on the other. Other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at the new Silver Storm colorway of the Nike Magista Opus, perhaps Nike's most underrated high-end shoe at the moment. Now in today's video, we are of course gonna be taking a closer look at the colorway, talking about this blue turquoise color that does look a fair bit different in person than it does in the online pictures. We're also going to go over tech specs and just general performance features of the Opus as well. So if you're interested in learning more about this particular shoe, please stick around and watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, check out the review page on my website. It'll be the very first link down below in the description. On that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes where you will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $200 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below in the description, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway itself. Now this being part of the Silver Storm pack, of course features that wolf gray base. That looks really, really good on the Magista Opus. Now normally with the Obra, being that that would have a fly knit upper, you would have a combination of wolf gray and black knitted into the material itself. Being that the Opus is not a knitted upper, you're gonna find that the top layer of Kangalite is wolf gray, whereas the under layer of Performance Mesh is black in color. And the combination actually looks really, really good in person. I would say that this is the most premium looking Magista Opus that we've seen so far. Of course, the construction is exactly the same. I just really like the look of this color um, and just the combination of black mesh and gray Kangalite. It just looks really nice in person. Gray laces, as you guys can see. And of course, the main accent on this particular colorway um, or the Magistas of the Silver Storm Pack is this blue turquoise color that looks a lot more turquoise in person than it does blue. Um, I would say the online pictures make it look kind of like an icy light blue type of color, almost like a sky blue. Whereas in person, there's definitely more of a greenish tinge to it. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about, I actually have these guys right here. This is kind of more of a traditional blue, obviously in the form of a uh, Tiempo Legend 5. And you can see side by side, they are drastically different. Hopefully you can kind of see more of the greenish tinge that you get from this kind of turquoise color they've implemented here on the Magistas. So you do have the Nike swoosh, that's that turquoise color with the black outline that doesn't perfectly match the sole plate. Hopefully that comes through on video. And that's just because this is a solid color and this is more of a translucent plastic material. So it's very difficult to get the colors exactly right to match. Um, you have the Magista branding in black on uh, the very back heel area. And then of course the heel counter as well as the entire sole plate is that turquoise color that looks really cool. It's got a nice translucent effect to it. And of course you do have some translucent um, tips to the studs as well. But overall, really, really good looking shoes in my opinion. Big fan of this particular colorway. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comment section. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. As far as performance is concerned, like I mentioned at the start of the video, the Magista Opus is a highly underrated shoe. Now in today's video, we're going to go over all the basic tech specs that you should know if you are planning on picking these up. But if you guys want as many details as possible, I would strongly recommend checking out the detailed written review on my website that'll be the very first link down below in the description and i'll also leave an annotation on screen to my playtest video of the magista opus if you're interested in seeing these things in action now what makes this shoe special is that it more or less is the direct replacement for the CTR360 Maestri 3. A lot of people were unhappy with the Magista Obra who were big fans of the Maestri 3, but the Obra is kind of its own thing. This is more of a direct replacement. And in fact, if you guys actually do wanna see a comparison video between the Opus and Maestri 3, that is up on my channel. I'll leave an annotation on screen to that as well. Uh, I say that this is the replacement because it does feature the signature Kanga Light Upper that we've expect uh, we've come to expect from the Maestri line, the Maestri 1, 2, and 3. With this shoe, you're gonna get a Kangalite upper, that's all the gray portion uh, that you can actually see. Um, it's a lot thinner than what we've seen on previous variations of the Maestri. I um, mean, it actually does have cutouts throughout the entire upper, which is kind of unusual, but actually feels really good. Because it is thinner and because of all these cutouts, obviously it does have a thinner type of sensation on the ball, not nearly as padded. And for those that aren't familiar with Kangalite material, it's a synthetic upper that's designed 
designed to mimic the natural feel of leather while still maintaining the benefits of a synthetic and that it's gonna be more lightweight, it's gonna maintain its shape better, it's gonna be easier to clean, no maintenance required, and of course, it's going to dry out a lot more quickly, which is really, really nice. Um, so a lot of benefits here to having this Kangalite upper. And with all these cutouts, it's based with um, a performance mesh kind of liner slash, slash base layer. That's all of the black that you can see peeking through all of the cutouts. That's actually the only material lining the inside of the shoe as well. So similar to the Tiempo Legend 5, you have a mesh base liner that makes the shoe feel very natural and flexible on your feet. And because of all these cutouts and it being reinforced or covered up, the spots filled in with only a thin layer of mesh. The shoe is very soft, very flexible from right out of the box, really requires no break in time whatsoever. So if you're looking for a thin yet slightly padded sensation on the ball, kind of similar to what we used to get with the CTR 360 Maestri line, the Opus has exactly what you're looking for. You can see of course that the shoe is also finished off with ACC all conditions control, acting as your wet weather control element, which uh, you do get some pretty good grip on the ball in wet weather playing conditions here. Um, as far as other texturing, you're going to find on the upper no rubber elements like we used to see with the maestries but instead you do have a very fine kind of gritty sensation to the majority of the upper here very difficult to see you can kind of see the difference in finish here where along the border of the sole plate and the upper you're going to find that it has kind of an artificial leather grain finish whereas the top portion here where all the cutouts are you're going to have a slightly grittier um, slightly grippy sensation on the ball um, because of the finish that they've implemented here. It does of course have the off-center lacing system where the laces are pushed slightly to the medial side of the shoe, just like what we saw with the CTR 360 line. Standard cut in the heel, not obviously not a mid-cut shoe like the Obra. You do have the external plastic heel counter. The lining material is also a lot like the Tiempo Legend in that it's a smooth synthetic leather all the way through and you have some perforated synthetic here at the very back portion of the heel. Good amount of padding, so step in comfort is really Really nice as well. As far as the insole is concerned, fully removable, same insole you'd find on the higher end or more expensive, I should say, Magista Obra, mesh liner on top, perforations throughout, and it's a single layer of this yellow foam. Decent thickness to it, nothing special, but it does get the job done as far as step in comfort goes. And then moving on to the sole plate and stud pattern, obviously it does have the one piece sole plate heel counter construction that you will find um, on the Obra. It looks very similar, it looks identical actually, but it isn't actually the same. Uh, the Obra features a much stiffer material, whereas this is more of a standard TPU um, plastic construction, so it's a lot more flexible, reminiscent to what you're gonna find on the Tiempo Legend 5. And of course you have the Magis the stud pattern which again is very much like what you're going to find on the tiempos especially in the forefoot the major difference here is that the studs in the heel are conical as opposed to bladed but the overall performance is quite good the studs themselves while they are rounded in shape a more traditional style uh, they still have a narrow profile to them and they're long enough to where you get a good amount of bite when pushing off um, which just allows for really good traction but at the same time because they're rounded in shape you get that freedom to twist and pivot when your foot is actually planted so overall fantastic stud pattern one of my personal favorites from Nike. So that's pretty much it as far as tech specs go. And with that being said, let's move on to a quick weigh-in so we can see how lightweight these guys are. In terms of weight, I think a lot of people would be interested to find out that the Magista Opus is actually the second lightest model from Nike at the moment, weighing ever so slightly more than the Vapor 10. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. I'm going to throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at... 6.75 ounces, which is pretty impressive, lighter than the Magista Obra, which weighs in at around 7.2 ounces in the exact same size. That is the equivalent of 191 grams. So the shoes feel very, very lightweight on your feet. And in comparison to something like the Mercurial Vapor 10, uh, these will feel a little bit softer, a little bit more flexible, and just a little bit more comfortable overall, I would argue, um, in comparison to really anything from the Mercurial line. Uh, these are even lighter than the Superfly 4 for those that were wondering. So so if you're looking for something that's very lightweight and very comfortable, the Magista Opus is one of those shoes that you absolutely cannot go wrong with. All right, so here is a look at the Silver Storm Magista Opus on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock gray laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of blue glow-in-the-dark SR4U replacement laces. Obviously, this is what they look like when they aren't glowing. It's a similar shade of blue to what you're going to find as the accent color 
on this particular Magista colorway. If you guys do want to see what they look like glowing in the dark, you can check out the website www.sr4ulaces.com. Find a direct link to that website down below in the description. That's also the place where you can purchase a pair of these for yourself if you are at all interested. Now in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, the Opus is entirely different in terms of fit and feel in comparison to the Magista Obra, which is of course the mid-cut flyknit model. Shouldn't be too big of a surprise though considering that the construction is, like I said, entirely different. Different. It does have a thinner sensation on your feet, but unlike a lot of thin shoes that can feel a little bit more plasticky, a little bit more rigid, not necessarily uncomfortable, um, but like I said, a little bit more rigid on your feet, these are very, very flexible. The Kangalite material is quite soft despite being so thin, and because you have all these cutouts that are basically just filled in with a thin layer of mesh, the shoe is very flexible. Um, it just feels really good out of the box. Minimal break-in time required. As far as the fit of the shoe is concerned, they're going to be suitable for a wide variety of foot types. If you have really, really wide feet, maybe not the best option for you. They will give a little bit as far as width is concerned and just stretching in the long run. But overall, they have a decent amount of width through the midfoot and forefoot area and a slightly tighter fit in the toe box. As far as sizing is concerned, just like the rest of the Magista line, they run about a half size small. So instead of going for my usual size 9 US, I bumped it up to a 9.5 and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going a half size up in order to achieve the best possible fit. It. All right, guys, this is my review of the Silver Storm Nike Magista Opus. Again, if you guys do want more detailed information on the overall fit, feel, and performance, I would strongly recommend checking out the written review on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. Also on that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes for all the currently available colorways of the Magista Opus, where you will be able to pick them up below their normal retail price. If you guys have any questions at all regarding the Magista Opus, leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like, subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.